have we have officially entered the attention to detail phase when it comes to the cappuccino the car is essentially done now the only thing i need to do is really just do the little things that bother me like i'm not a big fan of all these blue wires i'm gonna get all black vacuum hoses we're also gonna clean the throttle body in this video my car has been dropping from like 2000 to 1500 over and over and over so i feel like i just have a 30 throttle body or most likely my spark plugs which i'm also gonna change i've been wanting to change my spark plugs since i got back from the road trip but now that i changed my ecu apparently i have to go one degree cooler so i'm going to remove this i heard this is a pain to get off that you have to kind of remove all of this and get it out of the way for me to do that so hopefully that's not too difficult and then if the weather is still on our side and doesn't continue to rain again i would also like to get the splash guards on that's why i have the car on the bricks right now for anyone wondering i'm using the armor mark 50210 5 by 32 4 millimeters this is what I use really on all my K cars. Unfortunately, this is all I have left over, so I obviously can't finish all of those vacuum lines. So what I'm gonna do now is just take the spark plug cover off. Let's get the spark plugs out. Let's get this off so I clean the throttle body. Here's a look at my throttle body. Definitely not the cleanest. I wouldn't say it's the dirtiest either. I got some carb cleaner. I'm gonna grab a toothbrush so I can get deep in there and hopefully clean it up a little bit, change my idle. My spark plugs are gonna get dirty. That's why we're gonna change them as well. And we're just gonna continue to make the cappuccino better every day. Wanna know a way for the fame cleaning tip? When you do get a toothbrush, make sure it's an electric one. It makes cleaning a thousand times easier. Now that it's electric toothbrush. It's really the little things, man, I'm telling you. Just cleaned it off a little bit. Let's get some more in here. So here's our work. Throttle body looking clean. Much better than before. I'm going to clean up a little bit right there. You can see there's some extra glue there. And then I'm going to start the car. It's going to be a little difficult to start because we sprayed so much carburetor cleaner in there. And then I'm going to let it run for a little bit, let it basically dirty up the spark plugs, and then we'll swap out the spark plugs and have a clean system after. Let's see if we can get it to start. I got the seven out of the eight bolts out. The difficult one is that guy right there. From what I've seen, a lot of people had to remove this, turn this, take this off, just to get access to that. It looks like mine is already broken. So I'm gonna see if I just take this off and see if it'll just lift up from there. That actually wasn't that bad since mine was already broken right there. All I did was remove that 10 millimeter bolt, remove that. And then, boom, we got access to this bad boy. This also looks really gunky. I'm gonna see if I clean it up a little bit. That's a little better. I think I wanna paint the valve cover at some point. Maybe when it gets a little warmer. But now, let's take these out. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be funky. The wires don't look bad. Well, that might be the reason my idol's jumping around. I don't even know what to say, honestly. This is crazy. I mean, I guess this is what happens when you drive all the way from Los Angeles to New York. I did spray some carb cleaner in there, but wow, look at these three. I think my car is going to feel faster, drive better, start better. Like this is, that's a huge difference. We're going from this. this. 
the more the more I do, the really the more I do, the more I'm falling in love with this car, and the more I'm like, I don't know if this car is ever gonna be for sale. Honestly, people always ask me, is there one K that I'm gonna keep forever? And this one just isn't practical. That's why I love K-Van so much. That's why I always say K-Vans are my favorite K because they're quirky. They're kind of quick, I guess. I can use them for everyday use. They have that huge bed and storage in the back. This guy has been bringing me a lot of joy, but let's put this third one in. It's already starting to rain again. I'm gonna see if I still have time to put the splash guards in. And if not, I'll see if I put the radio speakers in because those I actually just got here from Amazon. Now that that's done, I took out that last screw. Let's pop this back into place. Now that that's done, let's give it a start. First start with its new spark plugs. What I'm mostly looking forward to seeing is, it's a cold start, but if the idle continues to jump, what I'm gonna do now is head to my cousin's house. I wanna see if we can add a hood latch over there. That's a whole side project. But regardless, my rear speakers are in. Very excited about this. This is gonna completely change the car. Right now, the audio is okay. Just having two front speakers, which most K cars have, is pretty normal. But when you factor in having the top down, you really can't hear the radio at all. I haven't done it too much, but I'm really just planning for the summer. So I'm gonna throw these in the car now, head over there, probably just install this myself. This should be pretty simple. And then I'm also gonna see if I could buy some extra vacuum line and get that done later, if not tomorrow. So we just got to my cousin's house. My idol is still raising to 2000 and then it drops down to 15. So I probably have a vacuum leak or maybe something like that. So I'm gonna look into that. Good thing I'm changing all my vacuum lines anyway. But after changing the spark plugs, I definitely feel the difference. What I'm gonna do now is just install these speakers. Let's get them into the cubbies back there. Luckily, I just installed the radio, so I didn't really put everything back in, seeing how I don't have my center console and stuff. So that should be able to pop right back out. I just now have to match the rear left and the rear right get a good mounting point probably going to use velcro i might drill into the panel that's there i'm not sure if i want to put holes in it just yet if i can hide the wires without putting holes in it i think that's what i'm going to end up doing but let's clean up this area and like i said if we have time i'm going to see if i can install this on the opposite side of my hood this is from the blue car. If I could have one on each side, I think that'll really help with the rigidity of that hood and hopefully it won't crack again. Radio officially out. Got the Pioneer speaker there. Just testing out the connections. Right now it's not connected. If I touch these two together, you can hear the white noise coming from there. It's not even in yet. This is just one speaker and I know this is gonna make a huge difference. So now let me button everything up. Make sure to always have that handy. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm gonna put it back there. update on the speakers i'm gonna go with this look right there i have the wires going completely through the carpet no drilling or anything necessary i am gonna put a velcro strap here that way it could just stay into place but i have it hidden right there you can see some of the wire it goes all through here and then finalizes in that corner right there 30th update we're all set forward to all morning while supplies last speakers store online terms of back there this report is sponsored zone. by duncan zone everything is working everything works 100 percent okay now time to just put all this back to be honest i think i'm gonna cut this i think this just looks so ugly and i don't like it at all and oh, every time we get japanese cars there's always a bird's nest i mean i'm at least making it look nice but i do still think it looks pretty crazy so i'm gonna clean this up a little bit see if i can make this look a lot more presentable and then unfortunately it's getting kind of dark but i'm gonna see if i can still work on something over there but in my opinion today's still a pretty successful video spark plugs done vacuum lines i gotta buy some more vacuum lines but radio rear speakers installed radio's good i can now put all this back i can put that back i can now have a full interior thank god and then check engine light we still got to figure out along with some little things but let me clean this up here's how we're looking back here i just gotta hide these a bit better but this is nice and flush everything is back where it belongs now i'm just gonna grab some velcro stick it onto there so the speakers don't slide
so we were just talking about it and i just realized you see how it goes like this and all the weight goes right there on this guy that is facing the wrong way for this to work and then i was just thinking what if i do it like this and have it way like that but he was saying that won't make any sense so I think what I'm gonna have to do is, I don't know, somehow bend this in half. Well, not in half, we'll bend it 180. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to bend this 180 and see if that could work. I don't want to use shocks. You guys made a great point about that. If I use shocks, it would only make it worse. But I need to somehow bend that so it can go like this and still rest like that. Cause my hood isn't like turning or anything like that, but look at all the weight. Like it should be straight like this and it's slouching which means it's only gonna crack probably again, which is very unfortunate seeing how I have a whole spare cappuccino and I could just put this in there. So we gotta go back to the drawing board for that. Speakers and everything fit perfectly fine. I'm gonna put my center console in one of these days. Still gotta find a steering wheel. Still gotta save up some money to get some three spokes. But yeah, we'll end this part of the video here. Another successful day. Gotta grab some more vacuum line switch out all that blue for black and hopefully maybe find a vacuum leak in there as well and i catch you guys on the next one peace out remember the name this is for the fame